what's up? Hey, why everybody's up here going after the Drake. This Rick Ross puts out an interception and says, nope, I'm going at you now, Drake. What you got? What you got, Drake? Rick Ross said in a matter of a couple of hours said, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? You want some of this? We're going to get into some of this. Hey, this this is kind of heating up. We got J. Cole. Well, people are now saying he's J. Fold. We got Drake, who's going after, I guess, everybody who done dissed him. Rick Ross was one of them. And you got K. Dot, who says, F the big three is just big me. So, with all this being said, let's get on this Drake this by Rick Ross. Rick Ross said, I want to smoke right now. So, we about to get into it. Rick Ross. Hey, without further ado, let's get into the this right now. I ain't going to hold you. Hey, you know what? I got my hip-hop hat. I'm going to dress like a 90s rapper. And we about to get on in it. Can go, my boy. All right, let's go. to you fuck you want me to say 50 mil slap until they hit with my official jab crack smoke is the exhaust from my head nigga all right we about to back this up let me back it up back it up rick ross said let's go all right let's see what bars he got hey shout out to uh the person who posted this uh let me see his name i want to give him his proper respect his zuby t-i-z-u-b-e uh, that channel, uh, he apparently he just started or whatever, but I'm going to give proper credit to the person who uploaded the song. I don't want to say I found it or whatever. He got it because actually DJ Academics had it and he's been he's the only one who got it. So everybody been kind of screenshotting it, screen recording it and getting out there. So let's go ahead and get this going. All right, Rose, let's see what you got. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Record oh, shit. Ghost writers get the floss, what you could have had. Hey, here's the thing. A lot of people say Drake got ghost writers and things like that. It's like known around the industry that people say that. I don't know. Um, let me go ahead and give full disclosure. I'm not a Drake fan. K Dot or J. Cole. I just react to the music. I just like bars. So I don't listen to them per se. That's just my taste, my preference. I just don't listen to them. But let's go. Ghost Riders floss what you could have had. Let's just go. laugh until they hit with my official jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost Riders, they get the floss what you could have had. Rec get the floss what you could have had. You could have had this, but guess what? Ghost Riders already flossing it. Yo, let's go. Right as they get the floss, what you could have had. Record label taking a loss, are you in your bag? You yeah. a worker on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get the yeah. mind, tell by my watch, this a different time. Living fine, I'm getting high, it's your shit decline. Man, do you hear those vi the violins in this? And also, with the violins being played, you hear the violins. You also got that 90s feel. It's just bass, and it's just like a... Scarface type of feel to me. Got that Scarface, Ghetto Boys type of feel. Something that a beat Scarface would definitely get on. Definitely a 90s flow. Let's go. Label taking a loss. Are you in your bag? You a worker on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Are you a worker on the chart? Don't make me laugh. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what else you got. Come on. You a worker on the chart, don't make me laugh. Get the mind, tell by my watch, this a different time. Living yeah. fine, I'm getting high, it's your shit decline. Who be he said, my watch better than yours. My watch. Get the mind, tell by my watch, this a different time. Living fine. He said, it's a different time. He might be saying it's a different time. Like, bro, it, it's you dealing with the big boys now. Check out my watch, this is a different time. It's the big boys and check out my watch because my watch is better than yours. Okay. We got it. We on it. Let's go. Go on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get the mind tell by my watch. This a different time. Living fine. I'm getting high. It's your shit decline. Who yeah. believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Run up on you and snatch your chain. Watch you bitches bleed. Feel Even that must say he got a Tupac flow going on right now. I like that. That's a that Tupac has that emphasis on the um 
on the end of a lot of his bars, he stretches out the word, bitches bleed. Da, 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 da. So he got that Tupac flow going, okay. And I'm getting high as your shit decline. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Who believes he's moving keys in his Louis V's? That's the Tupac flow. Okay, we got you. Let's go. For time, living fine, I'm getting high as your shit decline. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Run up on you and snatch your chain, watch you bitches bleed. Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. Either you niggas getting money or ready to die. Man, that's like, that reminds me of that song, um, Ambitions of a Rider from Tupac. That's that's what it reminds me of with that 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 Tupac cadence. Okay, I get it. I get it. Let's go. I, I like that that Tupac cadence, and Rick Ross just has that voice. He has that rapper's voice, that aggression, and just that, almost like this calm demeanor is even scarier than him being all, you know, amped up. All right, let's go. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Run up on you and snatch your chain, watch you bitches bleed. Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. Either you niggas getting money or ready to die. B.I.G. or give a f uh, ready to die. Shout out, Notorious Big. All right, let's go. Either you niggas getting money or ready to die. B.I.G. or give a fuck if you Chi Ali. You got it and you keep it. Wow, Chi Ali, old school rapper from the 90s. Chi Ali had bars and then, you know, he ran into some problems and things like that. Um, if I'm mistaken, Chi Ali was locked up for some years. And, but hey, I, and I might be confusing with somebody else. If I'm mistaken, let me know in the chat. I think Chi Ali was arrested. He got out. But Chi Ali back in the day had some bars. 90s, that's old school, let's go. Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. Either you niggas getting money or ready to die. B.I.G. or give a fuck if you Chi Ali. You got it and you keep it tucked if you be by me. Do the job. And see, B.I.G. don't give a fuck if you Chi Ali. Matter of fact, because Chi Ali, when he started, he was a kid when he started. So B.I.G. don't give a fuck if you Chi Ali. say, I don't give a fuck if you're younger than me. Or if you're a kid, that's how I'm, I'm assuming that's what that what he's saying is I don't care if you're younger than me, I'll still F you up, bro. I really don't care. He'll give a fuck if you Chi Ali. You got it and you keep it tucked if you be by me. Yeah. Do the job, better known as the Charles Schwab. Double loss, right through. Uh, Charles Schwab, the insurance company, do a job, do the Charles Schwab, insurance company, financials, things like that. Okay, let's go. John, better known as the Charles Schwab. Double R spread through the yard, and I swear to God. Uh, double R took through the yard, I swear to God. Double R, Ricky Rose, and Rolls Royce. Okay, I got you, I got you. Known as the Charles Schwab. Double R spread through the yard, and I swear to God. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Kill you yeah. niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Yeah. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If oh, niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. Because Drake leaked a few recordings or a few copies of his diss track to K-Dot. And Rick Ross is saying... Oh, yeah, we speaking directly. You up here leaking records because what's going around is that Drake put out, he, he leaked his uh he leaked his diss track to K-Dot to feel what the fans are going to say, to almost like to, to gauge the reaction of the crowd of what people are going to think and what the reactor's going to say, people like me, other reactors, what the fans are going to think, things like that. So he's saying, you leaking your records, basically saying, Instead of coming and going at this directly, name by name, you out here leaking your records, bro. We speaking directly. Say my name or talk to me like a man. All right, let's go. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If we keeping it gangster, when you see me, you check me. Huh. You say we keeping it gangster. You see me, you check me. When you see me, say what you got to say. Do what you got to do. Say what you got to say. We keeping it gangster. Don't, hey, don't be hiding around no leaks. Don't be, or you can pull it back and you might say it was AI or I didn't mean to put that out or that wasn't the real diss or whatever. You, hey, say what you got to say. Let it, let it come on out your mouth. Let's go. We keeping it gangster. When you see me, you check me. Boom. 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 White boy, I see you. Hey, I called him a white boy. All right, let's go. White boy, I see you. I see you. Yeah. Check. 
Getting bullied, don't walk up on me cause the clip is fully. Niggas pussy don't wanna push me. I'm like really Woody. Like his moves, Woody. Uh, like really Woody. Woody, where he do that? Would he do that? Are you sure? You really think it correctly? Is he gonna do that for real? Rick with the little with the little flow, the cadence, the bars. Not saying it's deep as in metaphors and things like that, because Ross is known for going direct. He's more of a direct rapper. He'll have a few bars in there that you'd be like, oh wow, what a double or maybe a triple. But Rick Ross is one of the people that just come at you. He's one of them type of rappers. But and he's he's kind of like 50. When he gets to going and trolling, he's gonna he's gonna keep it going. Let's go. Yeah. Check. Getting bullied, don't walk up on me cause the clip is fully. Niggas yeah. pussy don't wanna push me. I'm like, really, would he? Like yeah. his moves, but he never had a fight in school. Always uh -oh. ran, another nigga had to write your grooves. Oh, another nigga had to write your grooves. He basically saying, even when you get bullied, you got ghost fighters and ghost writers. You got ghost fighters and ghost writers. You can't even fight your own battles, Drake. Goddamn, ghost fighters getting bullied. You got ghost fighters, Drake. That's what he's saying. And ghost riders. Fighting your grooves, fighting your battles. Did you get picked on, bro? Let's go. Like his moves, but he never had a fight in school. Always uh. ran, another nigga had to write your grooves. Uh. Flow was copying your pace. Wheezy gave you the juice. Another uh. white boy had to park one and hang with the crew. P oh, Wayne gave you the juice. If it was for Lil Wayne, you wouldn't be where you was at. If it weren't for Lil Wayne, you would be where you was at, bro. God dang. Okay. But he never had a fight in school. Always ran. Another nigga had to write your grooves. Yeah. Flow was copying and paste. We Flow's copy and paste. Basically, they're the same thing. You're saying other people's stuff because they're ghostwriters. And you're not even putting out nothing original because it's something everybody else say. Flow's copy and paste. You ain't original. Ross is calling you out, Drake. Right? Okay. School, always ran another nigga had to write your grooves flow was copying your pace yeah. wheezy gave you the juice yeah. another white we had to park one and hang with the crew yeah. pull it surprise when they're switching up like dyed denim getting sentence for all the killings while we ride rentals look me right in my god damn ross is just like i'm real direct with this right now let's go call him a white boy you want to hang with us you, you want to hang you want to be down with us because you really ain't about that life Surprise when they're switching up like Guy Denim, getting sentenced for all the killings while we switching up like Guy Denim. Oh man, switching up basically almost like saying you you on the other side. You play for that you know the alphabet team too. Switching up like Guy Denim. Oh Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. No, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta see this real quick. Guy Denim shorts. Uh, uh, Guy Denim short. Okay, that's what I thought you meant. Some damn jeans. Okay, switching up, bro. You saying you with the yeah? The juice. Another white we had to park one and hang with the crew. Pull it surprise when they're switching up like Guy Denim. Yeah. Get incentives for all the killings while we ride rentals. Look me yeah. right in my face. He beginning to shake. Told uh -oh. you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Got more. Ah, uh, he's I predicted my. I'm, I'm gonna be where I'm at. I predicted my pal. Oh God, let's go. Be right in my face. He beginning to shake. Told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Got more money than you. Fuck yeah. you want me to say? Uh -oh. Fifty mils for the crib. Where you want me to stay? I can shoot him. Oh God, Lee he said fifty mil for the crib. Where you want me to stay? He said I got money like that. I'm I'm up there. I got more money than you, Drake. You think you got money? Nah, bro. I got money. Fuck you want me to say? 50 mil for the crib. Where you want me to stay? I can shoot up the block. I got uh -oh. pictures to paint. Let you yeah. DM my old, but got bitches you can't. Let uh -oh. you get on my songs. It was good for your face. Now bitch nigga is home. And no room for debate. Pa yeah, he said, I'll let you get on my songs. Like, we was cool at once. We was enough to at least be on songs together. We was cool, but you, you ain't that dude. And on my songs, it was good for your face. Now bitch nigga is home. And no room for debate. Pop a perk for the field. Ross said it's on. And you know Ross. If you look at the battle, the trolling of Ross and 50 Cent. Come on now. Ross already on J. Cole's head. So you know once he get on Drake, he ain't going to stop. Like this literally just came out. This song just came out too. To go at Drake. Drake drop, Rick drop right behind that. Let's go. My songs, it was good for your face. Now bitch nigga is home and no room for debate. Pop a perk for the field. Go yeah. and count me a meal. Kill yeah. you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Yeah. Niggas leaking they. Said this light work. 
records when we speaking directly. If we keeping it gangster, when you see me, you check me. Yeah, he said M M M Maybach music. Okay, okay. Maybach music. Yeah, he said my per favorite person to come out with. He pulled the audio clip of him introducing Rick Ross. Come on. Rick Ross. You ain't never want to be a nigga anyway, nigga. That's why you had operation to make your nose smaller than your. Whoa, there is a rumor out there, or it might be just confirmed. Yes, Drake did have his nose made smaller. You know, he 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 trying to appeal to certain demographics. So Rick Ross is saying, yeah, you had to operate and get your nose small. Rick Ross type person that would know some dirt, especially. That's the thing where you try and be cool with people. They say always keep your friends close and enemies closer. No, keep your enemies closer and your friends closer because when y'all fall out, your friends are the ones who know how to hit you. When y'all fall out, your friends or ex-friends are the ones who know how to take you out. They do. Enemies don't know that much about you. They just know they don't like you. I'm going to war with you. Let's go. They might have a little dirt. Friends, ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, you fall out with them. Oh, they know how to get you. All your secrets, depending on the type of person you was with, all your secrets coming out. They may, out of some respect, not put out some of that deepest, darkest stuff because they're like, no, I got that much respect not to put out that personal info. But those who just say F you and move on and just like try to wipe your entire existence, they're going to put out everything. Trust and believe. I ain't went through that. I'm glad I haven't. I've seen many of people go through that. If I fall out with somebody, I don't put none of their business out there. I just, hey, I'm just done with you. But if I want to get you, I'm going to get you solo because I know where to hurt you. I know how to do it. I know exactly what to do. But I ain't going to put their business out there. That's just me. Other people, man, they try and put all your business out there. What, what STDs you done caught, what, where you live, your bank account number, where you hide your shit. Think about people's houses get uh, ran into. Oh, man, I didn't know I had money in the top left sock drawer under my SpongeBob socks, right in the back corner next to my Captain America shield action figure. Who would have known that? Oh, my God, I can't believe. Dude, the ones you've been telling and getting that money out by the SpongeBob socks next to the Captain America up in the top left drawer, your friends are the ones seeing you get it. Of course they're going to know where it's at. Of course they know where your PlayStation at, your TV at, where you keep your money, where your keys to your car at. Come on now, your enemies won't know that. They got ransacked the house, and the first thing you're going to look is that secret spot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That stuff is still there. But your friends, they're going right to it. I'm telling you, you better watch out for your friends if you have a falling out. If you have a falling out. Even still, you can't show your friends every damn thing. Come on, let's go. He's my favorite person to rap yeah. You ain't never want to be a nigga anyway, nigga. That's why you had operation to make uh. your nose smaller than your father knows, nigga. Uh. I don't follow you, nigga, because you sent the motherfucking cease and desist to French Montana, nigga. Oh, because they was, because the rumor is Drake was supposed to be on the song with uh, French Montana and Rick Ross. And, um,. I guess they was going to use us some shit like that. I like to say, I don't follow Drake and them like that, but I did her. Drake and them was supposed to be on the song together. Oh, okay. And somehow the, the, the stuff may have got leaked, I'm, I'm guessing, or whatever. So Rick Ross is, seems pretty upset about it. Let's go. French Montana, nigga. You said the uh. police, nigga, hating on my dog project. Oh. That wasn't the same white boy that I seen, nigga, when we were making them early records, nigga. When you were happy to be around, nigga, seeing niggas oh. holding them sticks. Yeah. Oh, when you had protection, when you had, when you was up, when you was with us, you was happy to be around us, but nah, bro, you fake. Yeah, you ain't the same dude. He basically said, you a punk. Oh my God, let's go. That wasn't the same white boy that I seen, nigga, when we were making them early records, nigga. When you were happy to be around, nigga, seeing niggas holding them sticks. Yeah. yeah. You old motherfucking stun of your life, nigga. Get Wheezy some more money, nigga. Wow, pay Lil Wayne some more money for getting you up. Oh, let's go. Get Wheezy some more money, nigga. Get Rap a lot some more money, nigga. 
Oh, because Drake is highly connected with Jay Prince. And Jay Prince, from the story that Jay Prince and Drake told, Jay Prince stopped Drake from putting out, I guess, a fire disc Drake said he had that could have ended Pusha T. But the reason he didn't put it out because it would destroy some families and things like that because it would have pulled malice into it. And he said that man didn't deserve that. And, and certain people who would have been caught up in the collateral damage then deserved the smoke he was about to put out Push T. So he may have had some dirt, some family dirt. And it's just like, no, because because I remember the interview, Drake said, that ain't me. That That's not me. I don't know what's up with this apologizing shit. Him and J. Cole. But Drake said, I, I, it, it's not me. That's not my character. It's not who I am. I'm not going to put something like that out that would have sucked other people in who had nothing to do with the beef me and Pusha T had. They had nothing to do with it, so I'm not going to hurt them and put their business out there, especially since Malice is Pusha T's brother. Why drag him into it and put his business out there or their mama or whoever and hurt people who ain't got nothing to do with me and Pusha T going on? So in a way, I feel Drake on that because they ain't got nothing to do with it. So you don't bring them into the beef and they ain't said a word about you. They ain't in it. It's between you and Pusha. And he's just like, nah, I ain't going to put that out. And not to mention Jay Prince said, no, don't do that because of what I just said. Don't put that out because, you know, that that ain't you. That ain't right. That ain't cool. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm just saying. The same. Rap a lot, some more money, nigga. White boy. Yeah. Huh. Biggest. It's Rose, nigga. We can do it how you want to do it, where you want to do it, anytime you want to do it. I'm ready. Rick said, I'm with the smoke. I'm with the smoke. I'm, do it. I'm ready. I'm ready, white boy. Huh? I know you got your dockers on with no underwear, white boy. Yeah, you had that surgery, that six pack going. That's why you wearing that funny oh. shit at your show. Oh, yeah, Drake. Drake. Yeah, I've heard those rumors, not seeing that Drake got the fake abs. I heard about that surgery some years ago, that Drake rocking the fake abs. I've I've heard about that. That was on the net, too. Oh, my God, let's go. He putting, he putting some business out there. Well, wait, wait. Yeah, you had that surgery, that six-pack going. That's why you wearing that funny shit at your show. You can't hide it, nigga. No, oh, man, you got hot belly. Okay. Okay. And then write your groove. Okay. Drake. Hey, what you gonna do? You got are you gonna respond back to Rick Ross? Cause now that puts you up against it. You just put out your disc track to K Dot, Metro Boomin, Future, all of them. Uh, who else? Rick Ross, obviously. Ross hurried up, fired right back. Like, your missile didn't get a chance to land good enough before Rick Ross said, nah, 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 I got you, bruh. Nah, let's go. What you gonna do with this? Okay, it's on. I guess I go here and respond to the. I mean, I respond, react, break down the Drake of the stuff I do know, may have seen, may have heard. Like I said, I don't follow them like that. But let's see what bars I pick up on Drake's diss. All right, yo, it's your boy Lacane, and we're shh, face famous. Oh, it's up. Hip hop is alive again. For a second, for a second, real.